Hi there, my name is Marina Newington and I help female entrepreneurs do more in less time. And I wanna to talk to you today about five steps to eliminate distractions so that you can really focus and get stuff done. So I'm wondering, do you ever feel like you have so much stuff to do, but when you sit down to get your work done, you just have no idea what to hit first? Or maybe you have so many things lying around everywhere that you feel so distracted by all the things happening that you can't really focus on the matter at hand. Well, you know what? You are not alone. This happens to absolutely everyone. And the thing here is to try to eliminate distractions because distractions are one of the number one enemies that we have to face today. Whether they are um, washing that needs to get done, um, other people in the house, uh, taking your dog for a walk, um, the blings and beeps that come off of your computer, all of these things are you know obstacles that we have to overcome when we work from home and we try to create our own business and run our own business. So the question becomes how to eliminate these distractions so that when you sit down with your precious time that you have allocated to do your work, you can really focus on what you are doing and get your work done. So I wanna take you through five suggestions that you can do in order to help you eliminate these distractions. So I'm just gonna check my notes here. Number one, is create a workspace that works. Okay, first of all, you have to be in an area that you can feel productive in. So you need to allocate a specific place in your house to do your work, whether it's a separate room, which is obviously the ideal, but not everyone can do that, or even a workbench or somewhere where you can sit at a desk not on the bed, not on the couch, where you can sit at a desk and focus and know that this is your area where you are working. Ideally, if you have another room, that's great. So number one, you wanna establish that. Number two, you wanna have a chair that's really comfortable. I know this sounds silly, but bear with me here. If you have a chair that is uncomfortable, you're gonna constantly come up with reasons to get up and walk around and to move away from what you are doing and not focus on what you're doing. So investing in a really good office chair is actually really important because not only will it help you eliminate distractions, but it's also gonna help you with your posture and avoiding any issues from working at a desk. And number three, and this is another one that's gonna sound pretty obvious, but if you can, find a door that you can close. Ah! You know, there are other people who live in our space when we work from home, whether there are family, whether there are pets, whether there are other people. If you can close the door so people know that this is your boundary and this is your work time, then that's also gonna help eliminate those distractions. Okay, number two is to clear the clutter. Now I am talking about physical clutter that is in your workspace. A lot of us have all sorts of clutter that accumulates, whether it's um, uh, presentations from various seminars we attended, whether it's um, uh, projects that we worked on that um, don't need to be on our desk anymore, whether it's um, food that accumulates, whether it's um, phone and contact numbers and all sorts of other things. There are so many things that accumulate on our desks, to-do lists notebooks, all of these things, I have a suggestion for you. If you take five minutes when you sit down to work, five minutes before you start work, and just clear your area. Obviously throw away anything that needs to be thrown away, but put things into piles if necessary, and clear your area so it looks clean and it looks neat, so that when you're sitting down to work, you're not distracted visually by things that are out of space, because that gets into your head and keeps you from focusing on what you need to focus on. The other thing that you could do then is um, clear up for five minutes at the end of the day, and that's gonna give you a really good head start for the next day. So to clear the clutter, first of all, five minutes when you sit down to work, and if you can, five minutes at the end so you get a head start on the next day. Okay, number three, is to close the open loops. Now, I've spoken about this before, and I have a whole blog on this, so I'm gonna put the link um, in the blog below for this one. But open loops are those things that run around in your head of things that you need to get done that you haven't accomplished. And they take up so much mental energy, and they distract you from doing what you need to do. So this list of things, these open loops that keep going in your head, you know, 
oh my God, I need to buy um, more food for the cat. Um, oh, I haven't done that wedding present yet. I have to fill out that form for uh, the DBLA. Now, all of these things that keep weighing in your head, they're small things, and there are strategies that you can use in order to close these open loops. One of them is to write them all out. And everything that takes less than two minutes, set aside an hour and do them. You will feel so much better. These are the things that you are avoiding doing. Making that call to the person to have that conversation. You know what I'm talking about? Do it. Do it. Okay, that one takes more than two minutes, but set aside time to do these things. Your mind will feel so free and you will feel so relieved that you don't have these things weighing on you, that you will boost your productivity like you wouldn't believe and be able to really focus on what you need to do. This is a huge distraction, my friends. I promise you, if you can clear some of the open loops from your head, you will open up so much bandwidth to be able to focus on your work. Okay, number four is one of my favorites and this is the brain dump, okay? I love this. All right, maybe you have a project that you need to work on and it has lots of different moving parts and lots of different elements. What do you need to do? Take everything that's in your head and put it on a piece of paper. Write down every single um, action and task that you need to do in relation to this project and to this thing that you need to do. Sometimes we sit down, we feel so overwhelmed by all the things that we need to do that we, we, we can't function. And that's a distraction. That is something that keeps us from working. So if you write everything down, everything that needs to be done, really brainstorm, give yourself 15 minutes and really, you know, empty your brain of everything that's in there and everything having to do with this project. Write it all down, give it a good old brain dump. Then look at that piece of paper and start grouping things together. These are um, activities related to this that all work together. And then the best thing you can do is turn them into a timeline. Okay, so put them in order. Well, I have to do this group of activities first and then this and then this and then this. And this has to happen and then this has to happen and then this has to happen. And that's how I'm going to get to my um, eventual goal and that's how I'm gonna get this project done. Then you know you start at the beginning. That's it. You start at the beginning. You don't start in the middle. You don't start in the end. You know you have to do this. You know how you have to, it doesn't matter. You start here and you methodically work your way through and you methodically get to the other side. Okay, number five is to eliminate <laughs> digital distractions. Now this is a big one and this is really hard for a lot of us. Okay, I'm talking about notifications. I'm to talking about all the bings and dings that come on your phone, on your laptop, on your computer, on your tablet, whatever it is. So if you can be disciplined about these things and not pay attention to them, if they're sitting there, then great. But for most of us, this is really difficult to do. So what I recommend is when you sit down to work, put your other electronics in a different room. Just put them in a different room and that way you don't have to worry about avoiding the notifications and not looking at them. It is all made in order to distract you. It is all done in a way for you to go, oh, who emailed me? Who messaged me? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's going on? In order to avoid getting distracted by these things, just put them out of the room because otherwise it is so difficult to avoid that incredible, incredible uh, desire to see who is talking to me what is going on and you know what if you don't want to put it out of the room there are also all these different apps that you can use that quiet it for, for blocks of time um, or you could just really really be honest with yourself and say I don't need all these notifications I know it's hard to turn off all notifications but maybe you can be really mindful about what you actually want notifications from and maybe you don't want it on all your devices Maybe you don't need email notifications. Maybe you don't need WhatsApp notifications. Maybe you don't need notifications from LinkedIn or Instagram or whatever it is. Social media is a great way to start turning those things off. Turn those notifications off, at least while you're working. And that's gonna help you so much. Okay, so those are five um, action steps that you can do in order to eliminate distractions so that you can really focus on what you're working on and what you are doing. So if you wanna focus even more, if you wanna to go to the next level and take the next step 
and see what it is that you really need to be working on right now in order to achieve big results in your business, then I have an amazing worksheet for you that's going to identify and clarify exactly what you should be working on right now in order to get big results in your business in less time. And it's called Six Easy Ways for Female Entrepreneurs to Get More Done in Less Time. And I'm including the link for that here. So you can absolutely download that. It's free and it's gonna help you so much to figure out what you need to be focusing on during that time that you've cleared all your clutter out of the way. Okay, I would love to hear what your thoughts on all of this are and what your big distractions are. Please let me know in the comments below and I really look forward to speaking to you next time.